Marriages are not working. Relationships are failing. People are getting confused by the day. Divorce rates are increasing. Someone right now, as I'm speaking, is going through emotional pains. And someone also is about to experience a breakup very soon. Then another person is about to get married. Yet another one is about to receive good news. It's a mystery. Relationship is God ordained. God designed man not to live like a hermite. We are designed to live with fellow man. Whenever you find humans living in an environment where human relationship is difficult, plans do not work out, destinies get frustrated. Nothing hurts like being in a relationship you want it to work and want things to work and it's not working at. As a matter of fact, research shows it. Statistically, you could check online the number one fundamental source of stress among human beings is relationship stress. I mean, whether father, mother relationship, family relationship, business relationship, work relationship, even governmental relationship, political relationship, and most importantly, male-female relationship. You were created with the ability to love. God put in you the ability to love fellow human beings. You may not love everyone the same way. Love is actually discriminatory, and love is actually a choice. That being said, today, I want to discuss something briefly. Why is it that? Most people experience breakups. Marriages are failing. Is it a family curse? Or is it something that we are actually missing at? That's my focus. In that John 4 verse 16 to 17, I just want to read these two striking verses. Jesus said unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. Verse 17, the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast said well, I have no husband. How about we see verse 18? For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast is not thy husband, in that saith thou truly. So much thou in it, that's the King James. Simply put it this way, verse 18. You are right when you say that you don't have a husband, because you have actually had five husbands. And the man you are living with right now is not actually your husband. <laughs> it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. This amazes me. The kingdom of God is amazing. It's amazing when you get to study things. This is Jesus. About the sixth hour. I mean, that could be about noon, afternoon. And Jesus is thirsty. He reaches this well in Samaria, And there is a woman drawing water from the well. He asked for a drink. The woman actually told him, based on customs, you know, and rules, Jews and Samaritans should not relate. And Jesus said, if you know who is asking you for this drink, trust me, and you know that this same person can give you life-giving water, you will be quick to give him a drink. Of course, the one mocked. Then the prophetic in him, in Jesus now, rose up. Go call your husband for me. The woman said, I don't have a husband. And Jesus said, you're right. Because you've been married to five different men. Five different men. Five different men. Take that over again. Five different men. Verse 18 of John 4. And the man you're actually living with right now is not your husband. <laughs> Could it be that it is possible for someone listening to me right now, living with a man that is not actually your husband? How comes things like this are not being spoken about and taught consecutively so that people get awareness? What makes people, what makes a woman goes through five different relationships and is unable to be settled with one man? How comes maybe husbands are not finding wives they can stay with? Is there a problem in living with a man that you are not married to? Those are questions I hope to address in this brief teaching. Let's start this way. Marital relationship is God's idea. This is purely an issue of marital relationship. The prophetic in Jesus is amazing to me because he's so full of specificity, precision, accuracy, time-tested, and proving. 
read through his life, the prophetic dimension of his ministry is amazing. You are right when you say that you don't have a husband because you've been married to five different men and the man you are living with right now is not actually your husband. Let me take that over again. You've been married to five different men and the man you are living with right now is not your husband. Can I say this to you? It is possible to have multiple relationship breakups. You know a few people, a few women right now as I'm speaking. Let's talk about women. What is it about women that makes them not be able to keep a relationship? First thing first, when it comes to marital relationship, a woman does not get married. It is the wife that gets married. I just wrapped your mind there. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. A virtuous woman, all of that. You know, it takes the wife in a woman to get into marriage. What is it that is causing most marital relationships today to fail? I'm not talking about what men do. I want to be focused on some failures on the part of women. Women in the kingdom, born again, spirit filled, yet foolish. And I pray in the name of Jesus that this brief insight guide you. If you are a lady, you are about to get into a relationship. I want you to hear this first before you go into any relationship. We are looking at a Samaritan woman who has been through five different relationships. Was she not learning anything from any failed relationship? And now she ended up living with a man that is not her husband. Hazard, may that siege in your family be broken in Jesus' name. That spell that says no woman gets married and is settled, I challenge it by this ministration. And I decree an anointing over your life that will take you out of any relationship mess. You'll be able to find the right husband. You'll be able to be settled in a relationship. You will know relationship happiness. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's take a look. God designed marriage to be between the male man called husband and the female woman called the wife. These two are all in Eden. They are born again. They are spirit filled. They have the spirit of God. They come together. They exchange verse. They are blessed. And so they are declared married because they will not be sharing a covenant union. Some things can happen that people get into a wrong relationship. Or some things can happen while in a relationship that causes a woman or that will cause a woman to come out of that union. Let me quickly highlight God's vision for marriage. In his original purpose for marriage, God desires to reproduce himself on planet Earth. And he chose the marital foundation as the means through which the right responsible offsprings made in the image and likeness of God will come forth on Earth. And so that is why in that love story in Genesis 2 verse 18 forward, it is not good for the man to be alone or make a helper suitable for him. God now brought the first couple together in the garden. <clears throat> and you know in Genesis 4 verse 1, the man knew his wife Eve and Eve conceived and bore children. The story continues from there. So the ultimate purpose, number one, is to reproduce, replenish the earth. Genesis 1 28, one of the ways is procreation. There are many other purposes for marriage. May I say something right here? Your marital experience can only be as good as your life as a single person. By that I mean what you have not known before you go into marriage, you may not likely know while you are married. There are a lot of very ignorant people, ignorant women who are already born again, heading for doom right now as I'm speaking. As a matter of fact, in the days ahead, some churches will be solemnizing very unfortunate weddings. Some very nice ladies who have been spirit filled have been pulled out of God's presence already by men who fake to be responsible. And right there, as I'm speaking right now, they will be headed for a marital relationship that will be catastrophic. The church is to blame, the individuals are to blame because every foundational knowledge you need for a good marital relationship, God already give us. You remember in that Matthew 19, they came to Jesus and asked the question of divorce. And he asked them the same question. Have you not read that in the beginning, 
God made them male and female, united them together and declared whatever I've joined together, let no man put asunder. In other words, God is not against divorce, but he is not against the divorcees. No record has it in this John 4 whether this woman was divorced. The story is clear. You've been married to five different men, but the man you are currently living with right now is not your husband. And so that made me ask questions, studying this particular verse and thinking about certain things that affect us today. How comes a woman goes through five failed relationships and ends up in a cohabitation with a man that she's not formally married to? How comes? Is that a possibility? Yes. So what is the possible cause? Number one, knowledge is the first cause of this kind of breakup. Listen now and listen good. Love alone will never keep a marital relationship. People who get divorced are still in love, as a matter of fact. Someone that you broke up with your ex and all of that, they still love you. The only difference between you and them is knowledge. You see, there is the secular wisdom regarding relationships and there is the knowledge of the kingdom. You want to know many things. What is God's mind regarding marital relationship? Do you know? If I were to ask you, define marriage, differentiate marriage from a wedding, what would you say? You see, many get busy preparing elaborately for wedding ceremonies and they forget a marital experience, which takes knowledge as the key. My people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. The vision for all is coded as the words in a book. Isaiah 29, verse 10 forward. It was open and they said, read. And I said, yeah, I cannot read. Many are like that. They don't want to get knowledge. And yet we are sent to give you insights. You want to know everything about marriage. You want to know about individuals. You want to know about who a husband is. You want to know what should a husband have. You want to know about love. You want to know about raising children. You know, want to know about taking responsibility. In fact, even if you may not learn all of this before marriage, the foundational truth, you must have it. The foundational knowledge. What God thinks about marriage. For instance, when I talk about this knowledge, let me take one aspect. There are ladies right now in a relationship with a man that is not born again. But he loves me, he cares for me, he's just a good, nice guy. If he is not born again, run away. If you don't want to, go ask, why is it that others experience breakup, irrespective of how nice they are? If you are already married, I'm not saying that you should seek divorce, except it is threatening your life. It will be safe for you to escape because God also saved you and gave you a sound mind. So you think and know when there is danger. Second reason why people experience breakup sometimes from marital relationship, death. You married your spouse's death, so maybe you end up being a widow. Third reason why people may be separated from a marital relationship, victim of circumstances. You got married, you can't conceive, so they say they don't want you. And in-laws come in and they drive you away. It is possible for that to happen very very possible and i pray for you if you are experiencing that and your heart is aching right now be healed in jesus name let's look at the fourth reason you just discovered all this why that the man had been a liar he just lied to you he lied about everything his name his personality his work his associations everything and why married truth begins to unveil as patience was taking its place third reason or rather the next reason why most women are actually facing relationship breakup right now is character issue in character you will have attitude let me tell you something character has been dismissing a lot of women from marital relationship one aspect of character is mouthiness many are uncouth very uncouth it is written that a wise woman builds her home and a foolish one tears it down with her own hands the word hand is actually your mouth by what you do by virtue of what you say you see character is a major factor you get married, the best advisors you have are people who are single and they are involved in adultery. You are stupid doing that. If you don't take care, you can be out of that relationship anytime. There are a few reasons, really a few reasons. The other one why people get out from a marital relationship is just because they are not industrious. This is simple but very important. Besides the fact that they are not industrious, majority of the Christian women, kingdom women, born again ladies, who get into a marital relationship, majority of many, despite being born again, they are really, really ignorant. Very, very ignorant. Very, very ignorant about many things. Majority may not know basic things that keep a marital relationship. For example, many are super spiritual, highly super spiritual, yet they are not romantic. They don't know that dimension. 
the thing being born again that is all so they don't learn new things they don't get to know things and because of that they may end up losing a marital relationship god's will for you in conclusion is that you should not live with a man you are not married to and so i pray for you right now if you are experiencing a marital a relationship where there is no hope perhaps that this man is serious maybe about getting married to you why stay with him first of all why will you go stay with him before you think whether maybe he's going to get married to me this is what the news always does this is what films will show you nigerian films and many more they make this thing look like no you go stay with him before he decides whether he's going to get married to you listen you don't know the complications involved in raising children when you are not yet formally married to a man it disturbs both your peace that being said someone may be asking questions what are the formalities every region every country every ethnicity every culture on earth has rules number one there must be the traditional dimension or what we call customary rights that must be performed ask specifics about your culture get to know the next critical thing is that you go declare your intentions for example in the civil registry then the last one you bring it to church for solemnization after all, you are born again so that is not no news you, it's no news that you should do that in church it's actually critical it's necessary now that being said quickly for you the single lady thinking about getting married who should i choose for marriage if you're thinking marriage just so that you don't look like a lady the woman in john 4 verse 18 who should i choose for marriage number one this man must be born again he must be in god's presence he must be in eden so to speak taking inspiration from genesis 2 all right verse 15 forward he should be born again this man must have a job or at least he should be working something that is earning or he should have a business he is running this fellow must know basics about the word of god he must demonstrate a working relationship with god these are high kingdom standards foundational principles called that everyone should know without which there will be problems this same fellow should be able this same man should be able to protect both you from himself if he is a colleague, you are already in danger in danger if all his best friends are people who don't go to church who make mockery of godly things who have no working relationship with god you are in trouble these are a few things you must know as per the scriptures and of course he should add value to you inspiration is genesis 2 15 forward god created the man he breathed into his nostrils all right verse 7 of genesis 2 the breath of life man became a living so he took this man and kept him in eden that's god's presence meaning born again then when he kept him in eden he gave him an assignment walk you see that word walk is really rich it's full of many things number one it means also rediscover your purpose and be about it and begin to pursue it it was later on now that man was doing these things that god actually brought in you know the woman of course you must also marry a man who has a vision at least where is he headed to but in that order a man who is born again and demonstrating a working relationship with god is safe for you if he is not like that don't go for it as a christian girl as a christian woman looking for whom to get married to that means you stop dating wrong people without which you may experience the same relationship issue that this woman in john 4 verse 17 to 18 is experiencing married to five different men relationships not working and now this woman is living with a man that is not even the husband i pray for you in the name of jesus may god show you mercy may god deliver you from relationship difficulties may god help you never to be in a relationship with a man who has no hope and future for you i pray for your deliverance may your eyes open to see may this wisdom shed this brief help you in the name of jesus christ god bless you my name is kenneth god bless you